If you know what this is, you know what this video is. It's time to return home. Hi, everybody. Steam Gamer here. Welcome back. Well, welcome to State of Gate 2 Homecoming Update. Woo! Those who don't know, I am a very big State of Gate fan. Today, we're going to be checking out the Heartland bases, basically. Well, not Heartland. Trumbull Valley is not Heartland anymore. We're going to be checking out every Trumbull Valley base in the game right now. So that way, you all can see what they're all like. Okay? I'll be showing you every base and letting you know that each base is very viable besides the starting one that you pick at the beginning. So if we look, the base one starts with military cots, which is already kind of an upgrade from the others, and two small outdoor slots along with a basic storage and a communication center. Now you might be wondering, what's my stats loss? Well, I will admit right now this count is a bit boosted, so I could make this video. I grind for hours on end, but I do not feel like grinding up the influence i originally would just like an influence thing where i just have a limited that but that frankly is partly a resource so i had to actually boost regardless we're gonna show off every base in this game so let's get to it now we'll be starting with the next one the red talon daybreak fob and no i am not hacking my health or anything only the influence which is the resources so that way i can show you guys all these bases in one day because if I was trying to gather all this footage, I'd play for hours, and I don't have time. Anyway, off to the next base. Patriarchal Park, or as I like to call it, Jurassic Junction 2. If you don't know what I mean, right over here, the literally says, The Rejunctioning, Jurassic Junction. This base is your simple kind of base. I will now be showing it now. The base comes with a built-in soundproof latrine so no one could hear you. Trailer park beds, which is about five indoor beds, rather four travel mattresses, one soft bed. Yeah, that's a horde. Trailer park storage, which can't be upgraded, but it's 35 max on everything. Then we got trash, trash. This place specializes in a lot of small slots, so if you need one of those lot of small things, good. This is the base for you. The one problem with it is it only has one base slot. As I'm probably showing on screen, the cost kind of makes sense for this one. So that's almost every base. Now off to what I deem the best base in this entire area. What is Trumbull County's best base? <laughs> Let's Next up, I would like to introduce you all to the Red Talon Daybreak uh, base, really. It doesn't look like much, right? Well, actually, let's show you. This is the reason why I said I need to get the, uh, I need the influence. So, Daybreak base start comes with kind of the necessities of all Daybreak buildings, mainly the, well, the ones that I like. We got Red Town Workshop, which has to be, you could actually rewire it and all that. But it, it's kind of hard to describe this. This base is a Red Talon base with Red Talon equipment and all this. The catch with said base is that you can't have to fix all of it first. But that ain't a bad thing. You get to call Chavez for help. Chavez is one of the characters, if you know about, well, Heartland. Chavez was a Red Talon soldier you meet in Heartland who was a very kind person but suffer from survivor's guilt. Because why? He ended up having to abandon his team and he watched as they all died around him. That was the catch he endured. And frankly, it's understandable why the guy did have what happened to him. Like, why he's so kind of like on the fence now. But now, Do that. But you can always call in people for help. Him and the help to help you fix this place up. And, more importantly, you have built-in stuff from Daybreak to try out. So if you were thinking about trying to get one of these, you could try them out. And it's not a bad base. It's very... It's kind of good. One large slot, though. So, not that good in a sense. But it's still a pretty damn good base. 
I would show you that, but I want to save that for its own video where I cover every single mission that's unique to Trungle Valley. So, yeah. Let's move on to the next one now. Now, the next base on the list is none other than... If you head downtown to Marshall, but not across the bridge, there'll be one little base that's sitting in an old abandoned factory. This factory, to many state a K1 fans, know very well that this is the one right behind the treehouse here, in a sense. Right there with the tree, the fort, the house with the treehouse. But, welcome to Tranquility Factory, which, it's not a bad base okay tranquility factory has a factory incinerator starting out and a munitions garden well meditation garden it's a place where people could you know boost morale and get some medical herbs and a factory incinerator helps for well burning off some things that need to be burned off it's way for disposing of waste and uh anything else really we also have two large slots with this base, four small slots to work with, factory storage, so a high amount of storage there, and the command center is on the second floor. Four parking spaces, as you can tell. Personally, the base is alright. I would recommend it to people if they want to get close to Marshall. But if you don't want to be close to Marshall, that's fine. We'll be next going to Patriarch Park. Or as I like to call it, Jurassic Junction 2. Which, <clears throat> I would like to show that off real quick. We also have Fort Marshall down here. We might do one of those two next. Anyway, to the next. Alright, here we are at the next base. We got ourselves Fort Marshall. This place comes with a whole lot of small slots and built-in facilities. With built-in facilities, you sadly can't move them, but it does come with a military clinic, which has to be upgraded later. A latrine for a bathroom. Military shooting range, cramped barracks, so sadly you're going to be dealing with morale penalty. A defensive tower, and a kitchen. You get two large slots to work with here, and of course two small slots, four parking okay. spaces, and a basic storage. Personally, I don't like it. This place costs eight people, 3,500, as with the other bases that are the best bases on the map, you expect a lot more. For example, the baseball field actually has over three to four, uh, yeah, three large slots and four outdoor slots, along with a couple others. This one does offer some bonuses, though, some passive shit, but it's nothing really to write home about or really pay attention to. The main effect of it is you're in Marshall itself, so you're gonna have an easier time exploring this, but if you wanna get to the other side of the map, that's going to use up a lot of fucking gas. The only thing I could really say about it is that most of these facilities are maxed out. So you don't have to really upgrade anything or spend too much. But besides that, it's not really good. If you're looking to save on materials, get Fort Marshall. Anyway, let's get on to the next space, which is the Jurassic Junction 2. Help is incoming. And here it is, the best base in Trumbull Valley. Welcome, if you guys played Heartland, you know where we are almost immediately. Welcome to, well, Santos's farm, or as it's now called, the Farmland Compound. Because if you guys remember Santos' farm, it was originally a bit bigger, correct? Well, the thing with this one is they did extend it. If we look over here, this was originally not part of the base. It was actually just a closed off fence right there. Well, this ended up getting expanded to include all this space, so it's very, very worth your time to get this. No can do. The base does offer three, well, four large slots, three small slots to work with, a built-in clinic, kitchen well outdoor kitchen so a grill area and a bed to a sturdy bunkhouse a five six bed now you might be wondering okay these all sound good what's the catch with this place the thing is with this base is actually a bit more than the th than the eight slot base i'll show you now this is only two thousand but it costs eight people 
I believe it's something we need to point out real quick that this place is a little bit on the different side. Anywho, can't do that. I would like to show more of this. I'll show you guys what it looks like after I'm fully done with this area and what you can all fit in here. So yeah. And here it is. The base is a partially still in construction, but it's been it's gonna take too much longer, and I don't think I have time because I want to get this edited soon. So I wanted to show out the base as it is. Uh, this is technically, in my opinion, the best base it's on the map. It's the middle of the map. So it's not too much fuel to go anywhere around here. We got our little barracks in here. Six. It can provide up to five beds, and it's luxury. If seven or more beds are needed, it's become a, well, cramped barracks. And at that point, it's minus five morale. Over here, you can put anything. I put my trade depot, as it will now pop in. As it will now pop. There we go. Over here is none other than a uh, bit more beds. With this symbol here. I think that's the networks, maybe. I put my workshop back here. And it's my red talent one. Over here is our kitchen. It, you can have a grill. So for 31 minutes, it's a plus 10 morale. Since I have cooking, it lasts that long. I highly suggest you put a watchtower right here. It covers both the front and back door and the side door that way. So zombies will come from these three ways. That there will cover it. Unless you have a sniper tower, then put it right fucking here. Over here is our next two things. And right back here is the officer quarters and the storage. So yeah, I wanted to now show this off right here. This, this is what the base fully looks like. Now, this is technically, in my opinion, the best base in the game, but that's all up to you. I showed you every base in Trumbull Valley. It's We have returned home at last. That's all I could say, really. And yeah. If you guys ended up enjoying this video and you want to see more like this, we'll be playing Stay of K2 or exploring Trumbull Valley. Don't worry, I will be trying to put more of that out of it here soon. Due to the fact I really love Trumbull Valley itself. So yeah. I've been Steam Namer. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody. Have a well day. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to stay updated. And tell me down below what you want to see next. I'm always all ears. Goodbye, everybody.